Okay, guys, let's take a look at, um, at what we did, <coughs> beginning with the, um, with the CL here. <coughs> um, let's take a look here at the higher time frame. Uh, two trades on the, on the CL, one, uh, one losing trade <coughs> and uh, one break even trade. Mm. Let's take a look at the price action for today. Um, uh, on the trading session, uh, in the beginning of the trading session, uh, we broke the resistance area. Uh, sorry. We broke the resistance area to the upside, uh, giving us um, uh, the opportunity here to look for a long setup. Uh, we missed um, the um, uh, the pivot here, I think, by a tick. So we couldn't take the uh, the setup here. Eventually, pulling back uh, and bringing down the uh, volatility band, uh, having to wait for a second test of support. A second test of support uh, did not appear on the trading chart, and we had to wait for a pullback back into support to eventually uh, take uh, a long setup and uh, uh, waiting for a uh, reaction um, to go back uh, into the probably the 80 area uh, eventually pulling back and stopping us out um, second trade on a break of the support area breaking support pulling back testing resistance uh, we got the entry here, uh, missing the target here by two ticks. Um, first target was sitting at the whole number. I decided to pull down the um, the stop to break even uh, because of the uh, because of the whole number, um, and eventually uh, they tr they tried to break the O2 area, but um, uh, we weren't able to do uh, to do so eventually ending up um, uh, with a break-even trade so one losing trade on the uh, CL um, losing 12 ticks per contract and eventually a break-even trade on the last uh, on the last trade let's take a look at at the NQ a bunch of trades on the NQ um, Losing, uh, losing some money here today on the on the NQ. Let's take a look. Uh, we were trading above support um, uh, right at at the open at the US open. Um, support was in place. Uh, sorry, let's take a look at uh, the prior pri uh, price action. Uh, we broke resistance, so price was. Um, uh, trading above uh, above support at the open uh, we pulled back and eventually got a new support area in place at um, at around the 51 area 53 51 we broke uh, we broke support pulled back into resistance uh, we took the first trade uh, the first setup uh, and we uh, lost 12 ticks uh, per contract on the setup. Um, we were not able to uh, to break uh, to break the support, having to pull back again into resistance. Um, no re-entry on the chart. We needed a second test of um, of resistance, and we did not get the second test. Eventually, um, getting um, two two re-entries um, to the downside here. Um, again, losing uh, both losing trades, and eventually breaking breaking the resistance area to the upside, um, pulling back, testing uh, testing support, and uh, getting a uh, entry long, and losing eleven ticks um, on the setup. And so on the NQ for today uh, losing uh, four trades in a row so trading two markets can be uh, uh, sometimes it can work against us 